Hey guys, Marvin here with Driven by Graphics, and I was posed with a question today relating to using Silhouette Studio and saving as a PNG file. Um, so I just wanted to record a quick video, uh, show the process that I go through and do it um, as a non-Silhouette user. Um, I do not have a Silhouette uh, cutter, um, I've never owned one, but I have the business edition version of their software because on multiple occasions that I've got uh, different people who send me Silhouette uh, Studio files and for typically the print work that I do I need to have those exported into whether it's PNG, sometimes SVG or PDF and all of those uh, file types are able to be uh, worked and done exported out of uh, the business edition of Silhouette Studio. Um, so let's jump right into opening up a file um, now here I've got a folder of a bunch of different files. These are primarily yard signs and banners that uh, Stephanie Friedman had sent me a little while back to have done uh, for a, a golf tournament uh, that she was having put on. So um, what I'm going to do is find the silhouette file here, the studio file, and I'm going to open this up. One of many in that in that file uh, or in that folder rather. Um, but to show that, so this is a transparent. Or has transparency to it um, you know it's just those elements that are on this uh, 18 by 24 because it's for a yard sign I'm going to undo <coughs> to maintain our placement here and ultimately then I'm just going to go to file save as save to hard drive now in there I'm going to select now a PNG and just to make sure I don't resave is the same thing I'm going to do one test at the beginning of to make sure we'll find that same file after I get done exporting. So I'm going to click OK. You're going to get this window to uh, to make some adjustments. Now one thing that I want to do is crank this DPI up to 300 and then hit tab and these numbers up top are going to change. Um, you can hit enter as well I believe. I just uh, enter may make it actually save. I always hit tab. Um, so I've got my 300 uh, DPI in there. Now one thing I do want to select is the transparent background because I do want to make sure that that is tra transparent in my PNG. Now if I was saving in some cases as a, uh, as a JPEG and I want the background in there, then you can just leave that deselected and it'll add it in even with the, the PNG. You'll have your, uh, your background layer in there. In this case, like I said, I'm going to keep the transparent background and just click Save. Um, it actually saves out pretty quickly. Um, so what I'm going to do is just hop over to Photoshop and see if I can jump over to her files. Stephanie Friedman and we've got our hopefully oh, there it went. I saw the files move. My 01 test here. So we'll just open that up. And so we've got our transparency and then this particular um, uh, background rather. So this is one thing that uh, happens in Silhouette often. So I did export, you saw me change the DPI to, uh, to 300. However, in here, it's showing that it's 100 inches by 75 inches, which is far off from the 24 by 18. However, the resolution is showing is 72 pixels per inch. Um, all I have to do is change this image size here without resampling the image um, basically so by turning off resampling it's just going to take those existing pixels and change the DPI and apply them back into the, uh, the height and width while keeping everything uh, uh, the ratio of all these things the same so like I said I'm just going to select that and change to 300 DPI or pixels per inch and then everything goes back to my 24 by 18 size of the yard sign. Um, so now this is the correct size. <clears throat> Again, I don't know if that's a, a glitch or, or an issue bug, I guess, with um, Silhouette Studio, why it, you know, it did not actually save it uh, 300 DPI, but it does output your, the dimensions of the file, the actual pixels themselves are correct when it when it does it. It's just a matter of uh, making the adjustment here in terms of the sizing. Um, so again, ultimately this did open as a PNG. It has my transparent background, just my elements on the layer. Um, so really, that's all all that I do there in terms of exporting a file from Silhouette Studio 
and um, you know as in this case is a PNG and then opening it in Photoshop or any other program um, you know if you need to send files off and that's kind of the, the case here um, that, that Gracie Truesdale had asked me about was um, to be able to export out of uh, Silhouette Studio so she could provide a PNG to someone else and um, this is how I would go about doing that so now you have your PNG and email that over to whomever you need and uh, like I said hopefully this helps um, see you again real soon some more tips and tricks Take care.